In the bustling heart of Lagos, where the sun kissed the waters of the Atlantic and the hum of the city never ceased, lived a young woman named Ifunanya. Orphaned at a tender age, she had been taken in by her father's second wife, Adama. Unlike the tales of wicked stepmothers, Adama was a woman of peculiar contrasts, more interested in climbing the social ladder than in the welfare of her stepdaughter. Ifunanya, graceful and intelligent, had just turned 21. Suitors came from far and wide, drawn by her beauty and the modest wealth her late father had left behind. Adama, ever the shrewd woman, saw in this an opportunity to elevate her status. She was keen on finding a wealthy match, someone who could bolster her position in the elite circles of Lagos. One day, a man named Emika came calling. Tall, with a quiet strength and an air of dignity, he was the son of a prominent trader from Enugu. Emika's family had fallen on hard times after his father's untimely death, but they maintained a facade of prosperity. Adama, blinded by his family name and reputation, saw Emika as the perfect suitor for Ifunanya. Adama wasted no time in arranging the marriage. The wedding was a grand affair, with a lavish feast and guests from all corners of the country. Ifunanya, dressed in a resplendent Asoabi, smiled bravely through the ceremonies, her heart a tumult of emotions. She had only met Emika a handful of times, and their conversations had been brief and formal. Yet, she held on to a glimmer of hope, trusting in her father's old adage, character is more important than riches. As the festivities drew to a close, Ifunanya was whisked away to Emika's family home in Enugu. To her surprise, the grand mansion she had imagined was a modest bungalow in a quiet part of town. The house was clean but bore the signs of struggle, peeling paint, a leaky roof, and furniture that had seen better days. Emika, seeing the confusion in her eyes, took her hands in his and said, Ifunanya, I must confess, my family is not as wealthy as we once were. My father's business collapsed after his passing, and we have been trying to rebuild ever since. Ifunanya's heart sank, but she remembered her father's words. She looked into Emika's eyes and saw sincerity and determination. We will rebuild together, she said softly, surprising even herself with the conviction in her voice. Life in Enugu was a stark contrast to the opulence of Lagos. Ifunanya and Emika worked tirelessly, Emika in his small trading business and Ifunanya taking up a teaching job at the local school. They faced many hardships, but their bond grew stronger with each challenge. Back in Lagos, Adama basked in the glory of her perceived success. She boasted to her friends about her daughter's fortunate marriage, completely unaware of the true state of affairs. Months turned into years, and Ifunanya and Emika's fortunes began to change. Through hard work and perseverance, Emika's business flourished, and Ifunanya's dedication to her students earned her respect and recognition in the community. One fateful day, Adama decided to visit Enugu, eager to witness the splendor of her daughter's life. She arrived unannounced, her heart set on showing off her daughter's grand lifestyle to her friends. As she approached the modest bungalow, a wave of confusion washed over her. This could not be the home of a successful trader's family, she thought. Ifunanya greeted her stepmother warmly, though she could see the questions swirling in Adama's eyes. Over dinner, Adama's facade of composure began to crack. Is this where you live? she asked her voice a mix of disbelief and disappointment. Ifunanya, with a calmness that surprised even herself, recounted the truth about Emika's family's struggles and their journey together. She spoke of their hardships and their victories, the love and partnership that had blossomed between her and Emika. Adama, for once, was silent. She saw the happiness and pride in Ifunanya's eyes, a stark contrast to her own hollow ambitions. For the first time, she began to question the true meaning of success and wealth. As the evening wore on, she realized that Ifunanya had found something far more valuable than the riches she had coveted. The story of Ifunanya and Emika was far from over. The winds of change were blowing, and their journey had only just begun. What lay ahead was a path filled with challenges and triumphs, lessons and love, 
as they navigated the complexities of life together. Adama stayed with Ifyananya and Emika for several days, trying to reconcile the stark reality of their lives with the grandeur she had imagined. She observed the couple closely, noting the way they worked in unison, their shared smiles, and the laughter that filled their modest home. Despite the lack of material wealth, there was an undeniable richness in their lives that Adama had never experienced. One evening, as the sun set over the Anubu Hills, Adama sat with Ifyananya on the porch. The air was filled with the scent of blooming flowers and the distant sounds of children playing. Adama cleared her throat, struggling to find the right words. Ifyananya, I... I never knew things were like this, she began hesitantly. I wanted the best for you. But I see now that I was blinded by my own desires. Ifyananya took her stepmother's hand gently. Mama, I understand. You did what you thought was right. But I've learned that true wealth isn't measured by what we have, but by who we are and how we live. Adama nodded, her eyes moist. You've grown into a remarkable woman, Ifyananya. I'm proud of you. The following day, Adama prepared to return to Lagos. She left with a heavy heart, carrying with her the realization that her notions of success and happiness needed re-evaluation. She vowed to make amends and support Ifyananya and Emika in their endeavors, no matter the circumstances. Back in Lagos, Adama basked in the glory of her perceived success. She boasted to her friends about her daughter's fortunate marriage, completely unaware of the true state of affairs. Months turned into years, and Ifyananya and Emika's fortunes began to change. Through hard work and perseverance, Emika's business flourished, and Ifyananya's dedication to her students earned her respect and recognition in the community. Meanwhile, in Enugu, Emika's business continued to thrive. With Ifyananya's unwavering support and keen mind, they expanded their ventures investing in local agriculture and small-scale industries that benefited the community. Ifyananya's school blossomed into a center of excellence, attracting students from far and wide, and earning her accolades for her innovative teaching methods. One day, while Emika was at the market and Ifyananya was busy at the school, a stranger arrived at their doorstep. He was an elderly man, his clothes tattered and his eyes weary. He introduced himself as Oyamai, a once wealthy merchant who had fallen on hard times due to betrayal by his business partners. Please, I seek the renowned Emika and his wife, Ifyananya, all you might pleaded. I have heard of their kindness and wisdom, and I am in desperate need of their counsel. Ifyananya welcomed him in, offering him food and water. As all you might shared his story, Ifyananya listened intently, her heart going out to the man who had lost everything. She promised to discuss his plight with Emika and see how they could help. That evening, Emika returned and found Alyamide in their home. After hearing his story, Emika felt a deep empathy for the man's predicament. He knew all too well the sting of betrayal and the struggle to rebuild from nothing. We will help you, Alyamide, Emika said, his voice firm with resolve. But it will require hard work and patience. Are you willing to start anew? Alyamide, with tears of gratitude, nodded vigorously. I will do whatever it takes. Thank you, thank you both. Thus began a new chapter in Ifyananya and Emika's journey. They took Alyamide under their wing, teaching him the principles of their trade and involving him in their community projects. Slowly but surely, Alyamide regained his confidence and began to rebuild his life always mindful of the generosity that had saved him from despair. As weeks turned into months, the trio formed an unbreakable bond, united by their shared experiences and mutual respect. Their combined efforts not only uplifted Alyamide but also brought new prosperity to the community, as their ventures provided jobs and opportunities for many. However, the stability they had built was soon to be tested. Whispers of political unrest and economic challenges began to circulate, threatening the fragile peace they had worked so hard to maintain. Ifyananya and Emika knew that their resilience and unity would be crucial in navigating the turbulent times ahead. In Lagos, Adama also sensed the impending challenges. 
Determined to support her daughter and son-in-law, she began to mobilize her network, seeking allies who could provide assistance and resources in case of need. She was no longer the woman who sought only status, she had become a pillar of strength, ready to stand by her family through any storm. And so, as the winds of change began to blow, Ifyananya, Emika, and their newfound ally Alyamide braced themselves for the trials to come. They had faced adversity before, and they were prepared to do so again, with the unwavering belief that together, they could overcome anything. As political unrest loomed over Nigeria, Ifyananya, Emika, and Alyamide prepared for the worst while continuing their work. They strengthened their community ties, emphasizing self-reliance and mutual support. Ifyananya's school became a safe haven, a place where children learned not only academics, but also values of integrity and perseverance. One fateful night, a group of armed men stormed the market where Emika's business thrived, demanding money and resources. The community, prepared by Emika's foresight, stood united. They managed to drive the attackers away, but the threat of further violence lingered. In the days that followed, Ifyananya and Emika gathered the community to discuss how to protect their progress and each other. They decided to create a cooperative, pooling their resources and ensuring that everyone had a stake in their collective success. Alyamide, with his renewed vigor and wisdom, played a pivotal role in organizing the cooperative and mentoring the younger generation. Adama, witnessing the turmoil from Lagos, decided it was time to act. She used her connections to garner support for the cooperative, arranging for legal protections and additional resources. Her transformation from a status-seeking socialite to a devoted matriarch was complete, and she found a new sense of purpose in her life. The cooperative thrived, even in the face of political and economic instability. Ifyananya's school became a beacon of hope, producing students who went on to become community leaders, doctors, and entrepreneurs. Emika's business diversified, adapting to changing circumstances and providing steady employment for many. Years passed, and the cooperative became a model of resilience and self-sufficiency, studied and emulated by communities across Nigeria. Ifyananya and Emika, now leaders in their own right, were invited to speak at conferences and share their experiences. Their story became a testament to the power of unity, hard work, and unwavering faith in each other. Adama, now in her twilight years, watched with pride as her daughter and son-in-law achieved great things, not through wealth, but through integrity and love. She realized that true success lay not in material riches, but in the strength of character and the bonds of community. One day, as Ifyananya stood before a crowd at a conference, she shared the journey that had brought them to this point. We started with nothing but our determination and belief in each other, she said. We faced hardships, but we never gave up. We found strength in unity and discovered that true wealth is in the relationships we build and the lives we touch. As the audience rose in applause, Emika joined her on stage, and they held hands, a symbol of their enduring partnership. The moral of their story is clear, True wealth and success are not measured by material possessions, but by the strength of our character, the love we share, and the positive impact we have on those around us. When we work together, support each other, and face challenges with courage and integrity, we can overcome any obstacle and build a brighter future.